Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. This was originally going to be a thousand kilometer, uh, 621.4 mile uh, speed test in this Chevrolet Bolt EV, but I think I'm going to forego that right now. Just the amount of winds that we have, it, it's just not going to be a valid test um, other than, you know, testing what it's like to drive in this wind. Plus I got out to a, a fairly late start which I, I don't want to have to deal with that, uh, plus have to do shopping and things like that. So uh, what I do want to do, though, is test out the battery degradation now at where 151,345 uh, miles. But um, just I charged it all the way to full already, uh, but we're going to head out basically, let's just say it's going to be 1045 that we're going to head out. Uh, I ticked a little bit down because I was using the AC while charging and then the charger topped up the battery. So um, yeah, there's a little bit of energy that's already been expended that hasn't been used for driving. Not a big deal, but like I said, just getting prepped, uh, wanted to use the bathroom, but there's some things I need to do today and I don't know about trying to fit them into also doing a thousand uh, kilometer, 621.4 mile run. Uh, but maybe we can drive a little extra anyway. Uh, just uh, do a nice little drive in the Bolt EV while I'm out today uh, and not have to worry about the, these weather conditions. It would have just ended up you know, requiring me to put an asterisk in, in the uh, test results for this. I think we should just go ahead and hit the road. Like I said, it, it's about 1045 when we head out and uh, just getting on the freeway. Let's try to figure out how much battery degradation we have at this point on this original uh, 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, which could be <laughs> replaced at any point in time. Let's get ready and hit the road. Well, always an adventure, or never not an adventure. Um, yeah, we're sitting in about <laughs> four to six inches of water right now, depending on which side of the Bolt EV you're in. We're not even close to being done uh, with this trip, though. I think we're only like 75 miles into this trip and uh, like 50% battery or more left. Uh, but we did run into a downpour. Apparently, they said it was regional flash flooding or whatnot. Uh, it stopped raining now. I mean, the nice thing is this cools things off a bit. You don't really have to use the air conditioner very much. Uh, but I had to go into Home Depot, do some shopping, pick some stuff up. And this was just a convenient time to stop anyway. Um, but now I need to <laughs> exit a flooded parking lot and get back on the road again. Yeah, just <laughs> try not to drown. All right, let's hit the road. Alright, well we're here uh, at the Willows Electrify America and uh, we just went 146.1 miles on the uh, battery charge. It looks like we still probably have at least 15% uh, battery left, so we'll have to do the calculations based on what the charger displays. But we've used 46.9 kilowatt hours so far, or essentially 47 kilowatt hours. Um, and, and again, this is not really, these results aren't really surprising to me. The 3.1 mile per kilowatt hour average efficiency, 
is low for the Bolt EV, but given the 20 to plus mile an hour crosswinds, we ran into some rain running the AC and it's already back up into the 90s again. So none of that really surprises me in terms of just the overall efficiency and range. And in my current configuration with the, the Bolt EV, um, I do target this right at, at about 150 miles um, as my first or full battery charge range if I'm traveling on a freeway trip. This is kind of what I anticipate and what I plan around and then subsequent, right, it's between 60 and 70% of that 150 um, for each subsequent stop. So basically a hun still it's 100 to 100 and maybe 10 miles is what I plan with those the subsequent charge range. Now when this battery was fresh and I was running uh, Michelin Energy Saver um, uh, energy saver AS tires on this I was targeting 180 to 200 miles that was sort of my uh, range that I was comfortable with setting on a full charge and then for the 2020 uh, plus Bolt EV with the 66 kilowatt hour battery pack um, that I target between 200 and 220 miles on a full battery charge and everything sort of scales from there if you're charging to about 60 to 65 percent maybe 70 percent between uh between stops that's what I plan that all around so um yeah without further ado let's just uh hook up to the charger uh and get the display from that what it's registering the battery percentage as and we'll do a quick calculation for um, what our you know calculated uh, capacity is out of that original 60 kilowatt hour battery pack that this car uh, shipped with started right up as normal and again this is where I say the behavior of this uh, Chevrolet Bolt EV pre software update is what I've come to be used to over you know the last five years plugged in immediately jumped up to over 50 kilowatts being drawn from the charger just right away and then in the car it's displaying like 47 48 kilowatts but that's because again there's that difference in what the charger is able to provide to the car or what the car is asking for from the charger um, as a max power versus um, what's going into the battery so the bolt evs display is showing what's going into the battery that 47 48 kilowatt that 51 kilowatt is because and you could probably hear it in the background is the fans from the battery conditioning i don't even have the ac on right now and uh you know the fans are still very active they're still running the cooling because that's how it's designed and that's why i would really like to see gm upgrade the chevrolet bolt ev to a 200 amp a CCS charging socket so we could still be charging at whatever max current they want to put into the battery whether that's 150 uh, amp or whether that's 170 or 180 amp that the battery is actually rated to take whatever it is there's still going to be enough surplus that these higher power chargers are going to be able to run the battery conditioning and the AC or heater without uh, affecting the max charging speed of the car in any way so taking that surplus power uh, that's not being asked for by the car but is available from the charger so again something that hopefully gm can institute in the next model year or or later right because or sooner rather than later because it's going to be helpful and it's going to be useful and it's going to be a small but notable improvement for bolt ev owners but that aside, and enough ranting about what GM did negatively to affect the um, 2022 Bolt EV's charging profile that I saw, uh, <laughs> I'll have to reminisce about these days of just plugging in and getting 50 kilowatt like clockwork. Um, but again, 46.9 uh, kilowatt hours used. Again, I'm not really concerned about um, the efficiency this was an ideal trip wasn't an ideal driving uh, and then what I do is because according to the display we had 11% battery when we plugged in meaning we've used 89% of the available capacity that 46.9 kilowatt hours represents 89% of the total capacity so I take 46.9 divide it 
by 89, and that will give me like a, a fraction, right? But then I multiply it by each one of those percents per cent per 100. So I times it by 100, and the result is uh, 52.69, basically just round up to 52.7 kilowatt hours. So that is what my current rated capacity is from 100 to zero. Now, what is that in terms of degradation? Well, originally had, uh, you know, originally had 60 kilowatt hours. So based on that, it would be about 88%. So we've seen 12% degradation. Now, uh, I've mentioned this in, in uh, degradation videos before, but there was a software update that was done early on with the Bolt EV that I feel like took away about two kilowatt hours just out of nowhere uh, that would change the results of this slightly and it's still looking at at this point at 151,000 miles 151,000 almost 500 miles uh, where I would say a good round number would be about 10% battery degradation so that's not bad for a car that's been abused as much as I've abused this car, driven long trips, done a lot of DC fast charging sessions, a lot of DC fast charging. So um, all told, yeah, so I, 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 will, I will say estimate around 10% battery degradation at this point um, is what I'm observing in my five-year-old Bolt EV with 150,000 miles. Soon to get a replacement 66 kilowatt hour battery pack. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, yeah, that's that's about what I would expect. And that combination of that 10% loss of capacity and about 10% efficiency loss um, from the tires is why I went from targeting 180 to 200 kilo, uh, miles of my first charge range to about 150 miles of first charge range. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Hope it was useful, informative, entertaining. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching. Got to turn on the AC. Whew.